Hey guys, welcome back. I just wanted to do a short update on 22nd Century. We did a quick peek at them uh, yesterday, and it surpassed all my expectations, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a chart and uh, give a little update on it. So when we were looking at it, we had our fans, we had our trips, our fibs going, and everything looked pretty good. Um, I thought it was a little hot, um, you know, meaning it's probably going to revert back soon. But today, um, what I thought was going to happen is a little bit of an up, maybe a couple cents, but nothing like what happened. So it was pretty cool. Um, so as you know, we talked about this 50 cent dip that we went through and recovered. Um, so from August 4th to uh, the 11th here and it actually just kept going up it was awesome so you can there's kind of a little gray peak here i'm not sure if you can see it but we actually broke the 284 peak that we had going um way back on the 7th of august so that's really nice and if we look at this here um let's actually make it a little wider so if we look at this here We've been doing our little sine wavy action with up, which is good. And we've been testing this trend a few times and we broke it here. And remember when we say we break, that's when it's about to change. So it did retest back down here and we broke it again. Now that doesn't mean it's gonna retest back down, but it does mean, you know, we're obviously in a period of change. Um, I don't know about tomorrow. Whenever I see this many green days in a row and that big of a spike, generally you're going to recover some, but they are getting good news. They're speaking at a conference tomorrow, I believe, and um, getting the FDA backing and stuff for lower nicotine levels, like things, a lot of good news is coming out. You're going to want to look at that yourself, though. I'm not going to uh, probably waste time on the SEC charts today or SEC filings today. Maybe next time we can look at a few more of them. Um, but one thing I thought was interesting um, is that when I pulled up the Fib arc and I went from this gray peak down to here on this this valley, it does fit perfectly well here of when it decided to jump back out. And you can look for yourself, you can pause it if you want and look, but this hook test here, hook test here, bottom test here, that's when it changed. So even though it's a pretty short, just a couple weeks here, you can see the fib arcs, they do tend to show you nice sections where you can look for change. So we just busted out of this 100% arc from this retrace here. So it's either gonna keep going up and start testing these upper, right here, this old trend line. Like we're gonna need to keep going up and start testing around here where these are crossing, or we're gonna retest down here and go on this main trend line right here. My guesses are we're gonna do a mix between these two. Not sure how quickly, I just think that it will eventually come down and retest that. But tomorrow and the next day, um, I don't have a solid guess to be honest with you. Uh, let me get my vertical tool out. So it's 13th, so the 14th is here. Yeah, I mean, it could do a lot of stuff tomorrow. If I had to make a quick guess, what do we close at here? Around $3, 303. Yeah, it's made some pretty significant leaps. I would say, honestly, it's probably gonna stay right around this 303 range and maybe go up and test at most 326. And that would still be a huge jump on the day. But if this conference news goes well and people are really liking it, that could definitely happen. Um, so I would look for most likely a range of 3 to 326 tomorrow with a morning dip possibility. Uh, it did dip a little bit today. Not like crazy, but it did. But maybe, you know, just if you're trying to get in and you're not in, definitely try to get below 3, maybe 290 to 3 if you can. But because you don't want to chase, but you also don't want to miss the fun. So just gauge what your price targets are and where you'd like to enter and exit and go with your own charts and see how feasible it looks. But I just thought a few of those things were interesting and um, it does seem to follow this newest trend pretty well right here. Um, so it's a risky play either way. I actually played it. I got in at 244 and I got out at 297 today. 
I may hop in again, um, but as of right now, I'm kind of waiting on a dip myself, but that doesn't mean that it will dip anytime soon. It's just that I have time to wait. Um, so anyway, guys, that was just a short uh, 22nd Century XXII update, and have a good night, guys.